we have to be very careful that we don't stumble into a wider war here. If we are in Iran's airspace with anything that belongs to the United States, that's a provocation. We shouldn't be doing that. We have no right to fly any kind of aircraft along the Iranian border. This, it's fundamental. This is a question of national sovereignty. Now, just think for a moment from an American's perspective. How would we feel if, a, if an Iranian aircraft, manned or not, was intercepted near the American coast? How would we respond? I would think that there would be a, an instant response and a uh, military retaliation because America does not tolerate any type of intervention in, in our airspace. And that's a matter of national security. Does not Iran or any other nation have the same claim to sovereignty? So if, if, we, don't, if we don't have the capacity to be able to see how these actions are seen in another country, uh, then we really don't have an ability to be able to come up with a coherent foreign policy. Now, we're talking about the CIA here. We're not talking about Papa Drone. The Central Intelligence Agency is well known to be guiding drones that are used in, um, in strikes. And, you know, we have to be very careful here. There, there's, but the United States inevitably speaks with one voice, whether it's the CIA or the United States uh, military. The United States speaks with one voice. And when we have a drone operating uh, near the airspace or in the airspace of Iran, that's a violation of international sovereignty and can be seen by Iran as a provocation. We need to work with Iran to work out these differences that we have on the nuclear issue. We should not, this is a very sensitive time, we should not be starting to build the tensions with this kind of a um, of an incitement, which it is, it clearly is. So when you start to connect the dots, uh, those dots start to spell the word war. Uh, whether it's a covert or an overt war, war is war. Don't we have enough wars that we're fighting in the United States? Do we need another war? Did I miss something that we somehow ran out of wars to create? Stop it. That's what my message is. Stop this. Stop the escalation. Stop trying to substitute um, war f for diplomacy. There are those who say war is diplomacy by another means. No, war is war. And diplomacy is about the science of human relations, if anyone believes in such a thing in this town. Well, I suppose so, there are those who would say diplomacy is simply not working with Iran in dealing with its nuclear How ambitions. would we know if, if we move to the next step? Look, the United States, I think, from the beginning has misplayed this uh, situation with Iran. If we want to get rid of nuclear weapons or the potential of Iran in the future to have nuclear weapons, then let us lead the way towards nuclear disarmament. We can't be picking nuclear winners and losers. If we want to discourage I Iran from developing its nuclear technology, all I would do is show them how expensive nuclear power is, how inevitably it blows a hole in the budgets of those who are heavily invested in it, and how there's other ways of being able to power one's nation. We've, we've had the wrong debate from the beginning and the wrong approach towards dealing with Iran. We cannot pretend that the United States is in a position where we ha can or have the right or the money to rule the world. We have enough time taking care of things back here at home where we have 50 million people without health care, 14, un un uh, uh, 14 million people who are out of work, millions of people losing their homes, and we're going to tell the Iranians how to run their country? Are you kidding me?